guys, so we got all of the green off the wood that we wanted, so now we are ready to start the wood stain. Uh, I just want to want to show it to you real quick, and uh, then I'll get started. And there it is, after the green is gone. It took a lot of hard work, but we finally got it. Going to lay that beautiful uh, dark walnut on with the lighter walnut in between. So the only thing we'll be changing is this the, this wall here. And I'm going to put on a golden pecan. I think it will look really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. I'm going to put on the wood conditioner first. I'll leave it on for 15 minutes, wipe it off, and then I'm gonna put the golden oak on it. And I will take a video after I'm through. Hope you guys like it, bye. Okay, conditioner's on this wall, time for the real test. Now to put on that golden oak stain, see if it's gonna be as pretty as I think it is. So, I love the color but what's happening is what I thought was going to happen. The white is, is not being covered up. It's bleeding through the wall. So the only thing I know to do is let this set, let it dry. It may need two or three cokes. But other than that, I do love the color. See, pretty color, but the white is bleeding through it. So, maybe another coat or two. <laughs> maybe a lot of pictures are going to be on the wall. Anyway, we'll see. What you doing there, baby? I am cleaning the grill. Why are you doing that? Because you're going <laughs> to fix me dinner. What am I going to make you? Do you know? No, I think it's going to be something to do with chicken. It is. It is going to be Fuji Apple. No, wait. It's... Fuji. No. No. What do I know? <laughs> it is grilled breast of chicken. Breast. I like breast. <laughs> marinated and Fuji apple and Italian dressing. It's marinating in it. So Fiji apple and Italian dressing. Fiji, Fuji, tomato, tomato. Hey, it's all good in the neighborhood. <laughs> uh, That'll be good. That grill's dirty. Yeah, I got to get it clean before you can cook on it. I get, okay. Well, I'm going to get started here. We're having pasta with it, and okay. we're having asparagus, Ooh. and then we're having some bacon-wrapped jalapeno with oh, cream really? cheese. Yeah. Some rattlesnakes. All right. So, do you want to bake potato with that, or is the pasta okay? Pasta's okay. Pasta's okay. Yeah. All we'll right. have baked potato tomorrow. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to let you get to that, and I'll do mine. All right. Okay. So, I have used a half a bottle of... Fuji DG apple and the Italian dressing, half, half Italian, half the apple, mix it together and I'm going to marinate the chicken in it. Okay, I learned a long time ago with another cook off that always wear gloves when you're messing with jalapenos. Always wear gloves. Okay. 
Is the grill all clean, babe? Yep. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. It's hot out there. What's the temperature out there? Like 105? 107. 107. Yuck. Maybe we'll get some of that rain from California. <laughs> no, don't want it all. Little bacon over it. Okay, so the next thing is we're gonna chop up some onions, purple onions, and some tomatoes. This is gonna go in the pasta. Okay, so I got everything all chopped up and ready to go. These are some of the things I used. Of course, my purple onion. Use olives. artichoke hearts, nothing like some capers, your favorite cherry tomatoes, and then all this is going to go in the pasta. The pasta, I'm just waiting for the water to boil. this for about 10 minutes or all venting. No, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, all that's left is the cooking and waiting. Got the jalapeno or rattlesnakes, as Tom calls them, or the jalapeno poppers, and our grilled chicken breast. The pasta is cooling off. You can serve the pasta cold. Okay, everybody, the rattlesnakes are done. The pasta is good. I mixed uh, all those ingredients, the tomatoes. I did add some oranges, the olives, the capers. I finished off the rest of the Fiji apple 
and Italian dressing. I mixed it all together. Here's the chicken. I added some Fiji and Italian dressing to that. Now we're about to eat. Okay, are you hungry? I'm starving. Let's eat. Okay, come on down. Hey y'all, we didn't want, we couldn't do it live, but we thought we'd just come on and say hi. While we eat. <laughs> what we mm. wanted to tell them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been working on the house, the house from Jared and Jason, and it uh, actually got the paint off the walls. Three coats of paint wow. sanded down with the help of Anita and Rhonda, and I did a little. We've, uh, we've already started staining. It's a, it's a glorious day. <laughs> I didn't think it, it would through. happen. I know. One day it will be done, the staining. Then we still got floor. And I can see why Jason and Jared decided not to sand. Because that took us, what, two weeks? Oh my gosh, it took forever. And so much money between stripping and sanding the sandpaper and the stripping and the more stripping material. and. Well, the oh stripper, gosh. the stripper's like sixty dollars a gallon. That's and it didn't crazy. Didn't really even work. <laughs> well, it worked, but the gel didn't. Uh, yeah. The gel, gel. the gel, gel made the green go into the wood more. Well, but the actual stripper, just bottom line stripper, actually worked better. I and I don't know if that was because of the heat. It was so hot in there. You know, we don't have any electricity in there. So the heat might have played a big factor because it was 110 degrees outside and it wasn't much cooler than that inside when we were doing it. Yeah, because that first trip we did on that in there in the laundry room, it worked perfectly. Yeah. But after that, it was just so much heat. And, and the only difference really was the temperature, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was, oh, it was just dry and no Good point. ventilation. Good and point. I don't know. But, and we got such great ideas of how we're going to be building on. We got so many videos, you guys. Just be patient with this because we work full time and it takes a while to get it done. Even this video will take a while because there's a lot of editing to do with it. We're adding probably 1,200 square feet to our home with the way we're going to do the renovations. I mean, it, I know when you get our age, you're supposed to downsize, mm -hmm. but we did and we got crowded in 740 square feet. We got crowded and things started getting cluttered and junky. So that's something to think about. Just how, how much do you want to keep in your life? When you start yeah. downsizing in your our age, there's a couple of things to really consider. One is stairs because one day you won't be able to get up and down the stairs that easy, let's face it, <laughs> if you're gonna be there forever. And two is how much stuff do you really wanna hang on to? Just a thought. Right, and how big of a TV do you really want? <laughs> as big as a wall, really, really. And how big a chairs do you really want? The biggest, most comfortable chairs you can find, really. How many dogs do you want in your house at one time? One <laughs> or none. I can't believe I'm in your t-shirt making a video. It's so cute. It's so comfortable though. <laughs> I'm gonna eat now. Let's eat. Let's eat. Bye y'all. Bye. We love you guys.